Hey, today we are gonna explore the controversial internet figures slash personalities iceberg. The original author of the iceberg is you slash jbrazen. If you found the video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe. Damien Rose Leonhardt, also known as De Grotesque Dami, is an American YouTuber who gained attention for their online presence under various usernames like Jesse Slaughter and Jessica Leonhardt. They were born on July 27, 1998, and became active on platforms like DeviantArt and YouTube in the late 2000s and early 2010s. Damien has gone through various personal transformations, including coming out as transgender, non-binary, and they now use their experiences to help others and grow as a person. One notable controversy involving Damien was their involvement in an accusation of being in a sexual relationship with Davi Vanity, the lead singer of the band Blood on the Dance Floor. This accusation, which was confirmed to be true years later, caught the attention of the online community. During this time, Damien faced harassment and attacks from internet trolls, including leaking their phone number and making prank calls to them and their family. In response, Damien's father, Jean, made a passionate video warning the attackers that there would be consequences for their actions. The incident went viral, spawning memes and parodies, and led to police investigations into the death threats received by Damien and their family. Damien appeared on Good Morning America to discuss the controversies and memes and mentioned receiving counseling. In later years, Damien created new YouTube accounts under different usernames, such as Jessica Bubbles and Shinigami Killa, and continued to engage with their online followers through platforms like Tumblr and Twitter. They have been open about the allegations against Davi Vanity and participated in an interview with Chris Hansen in 2020. Despite not actively posting YouTube videos anymore, Damien remains active on Twitter, Instagram, and their Tumblr blog, where they continue to share their thoughts and experiences with their followers. After nearly eight years of inactivity, they recently created another YouTube channel. The Reply Girl controversy refers to a phenomenon on YouTube around 2011 to 2012, where certain female content creators gained attention by posting video responses to popular and trending videos. These reply videos often featured provocative thumbnails and titles, enticing users to click on them. The content within the videos was often unrelated or minimally related to the original video. These creators, including users like The Reply Girl and iReckless, were accused of exploiting YouTube's algorithm to garner views and increase ad revenue. They flooded the platform with video responses, saturating search results, and recommended video sections. This practice was seen as an attempt to capitalize on the popularity of existing videos without providing meaningful or relevant content. The controversy gained momentum as other YouTubers and the community criticized the Reply Girls for taking advantage of the platform, devaluing genuine content, and potentially manipulating the algorithm. In response to the backlash, YouTube made changes to its algorithm to reduce the impact of video responses on search results and recommendations. Zfix Asart is an artist that identifies with the pronouns they slash them with their main platform being Twitter. A social justice warrior that made fixings to different arts. The fixing being making the light skin characters more darker in tone and the slim one more chubby for diversity. Nothing wrong with drawing dark or chubby characters in your art but going to others' art, change it to how you see fit and call it fixing is another thing. So many think they were a trolling account and the art was made to create controversy and garner attention. The attention part being confirmed by an account claiming to be Zfix's art on October 21, 2020. There were a few other twits after with the last one being on March 1, 2021. The original Twitter got hacked. With the hacker posting NSFW art from what I could gather, until this day searching the name will get you to a lot of NSFW sites like Rule 34 and the such. Paul Nicholas Miller, also known as Gypsy Crusader, born on August 11, 1988, is an American far-right political commentator, streamer, and white supremacist with a controversial online presence. Recognized for his live streams on platforms like Ongle, Miller adopts various characters such as the Joker, the Riddler, and Mario to convey his extremist political beliefs to strangers. Advocating for a race war and openly supporting white supremacy and neo-Nazism, he has affiliations with alt-right and far-right organizations, including the Proud Boys and the Boogaloo Movement. Miller's early life in New York saw him born to a father of Roma descent and a Mexican mother. His fighting career began in 2008, where he trained in Muay Thai and eventually became a regional light heavyweight champion and the U.S. national champion in the World Kickboxing Association. Expressing strong disdain for racial minorities, Miller has been notorious for his anti-Semitic views, Holocaust denial, and hostility towards black individuals. His involvement in events like the George Floyd protests in 2020 showcased his provocative behavior, where he confronted protesters with offensive remarks. Miller gained notoriety for his online activities, engaging in conversations on Ongle to shock and disturb others with his extreme political views. 
Despite being banned from major social media platforms, he continued streaming through alternative channels and maintained associations with fellow white supremacists. His legal troubles include charges of assault and drug possession in 2006 and 2007, respectively. In 2018, he faced a gun possession charge, leading to a raid in 2021. An altercation with Antifa protesters in 2018 resulted in arrests, and Miller claimed to have had an awakening afterward. In 2021, he became a target of harassment by a member of the neo-Nazi organization Atomwaffen Division. Further incidents, including an FBI visit in 2020 and a raid in 2021, led to his arrest on multiple charges. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 41 months imprisonment with three years of supervised release. Despite being released on good behavior in January 2023, Miller faced scrutiny about his internet access while in federal custody, leading to a brief return to prison in April 2023. He was released again on July 2, 2023. Miller's controversial actions and views continue to spark debate and criticism. Nicholas Joseph Nick Fuentes, born on August 18, 1998, is a 25-year-old American political commentator and internet personality known for hosting America First, named after Donald Trump's inauguration speech. Fuentes is the founder and president of the America First Foundation and CEO of Cozy.tv. His followers, known as Groypers, gained attention for disrupting events featuring prominent conservatives like Rep. Dan Crenshaw and Turning Point USA conferences. Fuentes held annual conferences, of PAC, where speakers like Rep. Paul Gosar and controversial figures like Milo Yiannopoulos participated. In 2023, he organized Fuentes rally events. Despite facing platform bans on YouTube, DLive, and social media accounts like Twitter, Fuentes remains active on alternative platforms. Politically, Fuentes describes himself as a Catholic reactionary and Christian futurist. He opposes the American regime, criticizing the government, mainstream media, and corporate giants. Fuentes is against current conflicts, particularly in the Middle East. Socially, he advocates for conservative Christian values, expressing anti-LGBT, anti-abortion, and anti-drug views. He opposes the COVID-19 vaccine and has organized anti-vax rallies. Fuentes has a history of controversies, including attending the Unite the Right rally in 2017 and facing accusations of Holocaust denial. The Groyper Wars of 2019 brought tensions with mainstream conservatives like Ben Shapiro and Charlie Kirk. Fuentes has criticized figures, organizations, and ideologies, including Zionism, Judaism, and certain conservative personalities. His political views include strong opposition to immigration, both legal and illegal, fearing cultural and demographic changes in America. Fuentes is known for his criticism of mainstream Republicans, including Donald Trump, and his involvement in alternative platforms like Cozy.tv. In April 2021, the FBI placed Fuentes on a no-fly list, sparking condemnation from some conservatives. He joined Kanye West's 2024 presidential campaign in 2022, gaining media attention. Fuentes faced bans on Twitter and Getter, contributing to the narrative of conservative censorship. Despite his polarizing views and controversies, Fuentes continues to be a prominent figure in right-wing circles, collaborating with political figures and remaining influential among his followers. <laughs> Matias Ignacio Vera Oyarzo, also known as Pollution Entertainment, is a Chilean YouTuber born on September 19, 2003. He gained notoriety for a video depicting violent abuse towards his pet cat, Jason Kruger. Matias started his channel on September 11, 2014, at the age of 10, uploading content ranging from sketches of stuffed animals to gameplay videos of horror games. However, his channel took a dark turn in 2018 when he exhibited troll-like behavior, engaging in disputes with fellow YouTubers. One of the most disturbing incidents involved the abuse of his cat, Jason Kruger, in a video titled Tortezo Slap. This showcased Matias forcibly shoving an open tin of cat food in the cat's face, revealing a pattern of cruelty. Beyond animal abuse, he faced criticism for making xenophobic comments and engaging in sexual including recording explicit audio during a live show at La Metra High School. The most shocking controversy emerged on December 19, 2018, when a video surfaced of Matias violently abusing Jason Kruger. The footage showed him picking up the cat by its tail, dropping it, kicking it, and hitting it with a wooden spoon, leading to the cat's death. This sparked global outrage and calls for Matias' arrest. Following the cat abuse scandal, Matias faced further condemnation in 2020 when Penguin Zero uploaded a video titled YouTubers Cats, highlighting Matias' influence on other YouTubers performing acts of animal abuse. On September 29, 2020, Pollution Entertainment's channel was terminated by YouTube for violating terms against animal cruelty. The aftermath saw a disturbing trend where other YouTubers emulated Matias' actions to gain attention. One such YouTuber, Natalos, faced public backlash, with residents attempting to hold him accountable. 
The situation became complicated as conflicting claims arose, questioning whether Paluchin had committed a repeat offense or if there was identity theft. Despite attempts at redemption, Matias continued to be associated with controversy. In May 2020, he released a video acknowledging his wrongdoings, attributing his previous actions to trolling and a desire for attention. He claimed regret and a change in behavior after seeking asylum and making new friends. Matias currently operates under the channel name Matias, uploading gaming content and occasionally reflecting on his past. The complexities of his journey continue to spark debate within the YouTube community regarding forgiveness and redemption. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as there will be more videos in the future.